on the popular website YouTube. There exists a- oh, fuck it. This bit's dead anyway. On with the show. I've been at the bar 30 years, Miss Jameson, but I don't think I've ever witnessed such a blatantly unethical maneuver. Oh, well, you haven't played the games I've been playing, to buddy. Your testimony without altering the deposition. You have no grounds for accusing me of complicity. You'd better hope I don't find any. Now, oh, Jack is pissed. Yeah, get the those mantras. McCoy <laughs> going. yourself be intimidated, Miss Skyler. You don't have to answer anything. Oh, God. No, but yeah. you Her do eyes have to go to jail. Bugging. Guilty yeah. of falsifying documents. Lawyering is scary. We need you to come clean. <laughs> Please. All right, so. Let's see if we can appeal to her. So we need to appeal to... Aaron's memory. That's right. All of this was for a dead child. If you're telling the truth about forging that report, then you must have lied when you said you cared about Aaron. Well, maybe That's not that not angle. That's true. I did care. We had a bond. <sighs> I, I do believe her. Sort of, but then I, I don't at the same time. I do believe her because, you know... We've talked to everyone, and they've been suspicious as fuck. Right. And yet she's but she's been changed okay. her story and everything. Wanda woman drawing was found in his bag, which means that they... Because she talked about how they uh, had, like, a superhero thing going on, you know? So, yeah. Yeah! All right. See? I believe in you! Why Don't would betray you me! your duties towards someone you care about? You mentioned on the stand something about a private game between you and Aaron. It was just a silly joke. It didn't mean anything. It could mean it everything. It meant something to him. That's right. <laughs> you were his hero. Oh, it's going to make me cry for failed. real. Aww. You have to understand. Wanda, be quiet. I can't. If this was a real no, episode, I, I probably would be Montrose, crying. But I just they got some can't. good writers out here, though. You'd better go. I represent you. Not anymore. Oh, you just got double cross lawyer. Ooh. Now, what's the real story? Let's see. Du, 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 du. All right. Feeling this. Let's go. Miss Skyler, I hold here your personal copy of a visitation report dated December 25th, signed by you and Dr. Mantra. Uh huh. Let's talk about- Oh god, why are they siding with them? What? What? Why? Why? No, no, we have to get her to side. Well, we can- There's- Yeah. Okay, yeah, we can still win this. They probably did Did you stuff, write okay. this report? No. Who did? Dr. Montrose. But Ooh, this is your signature. Liar. Yes. I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, seriously? Why so, did you sign? if you didn't write this report, why did you put your name on it? He said, I- Dr. Montrose told me the city wanted to use the Bauer tragedy as a pretext for legal action, oh, taking yeah. over the agency. Putting my name on that document was the only way to save it. Does the story fit with the evidence? I don't think so. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, they're, now, they're now a public agency. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. What? I guess they're not a public agency. What? Oh, no! When did you last visit Jenna and Aaron Bauer? Three months um, ago. Last spring? Eight months, Eight ago. months ago. What? Yeah. I guess so, yes. We just need to yeah, get why those. would they bring that up if we didn't want to push it? Yeah. Uh, they were they arrived in two years ago. Uh, was that when the book was published? Uh, no, that doesn't have anything to do with it. Right. This is Alice's last visit. No, I didn't know. And that's not correct either, because... That was two years ago. They were already here. Damn. Uh. Uh. Wait. You have an idea? Who was Mrs. Tallis? She was the drama. Yeah, that. Lover. With the. Okay. She 
she just... has something to do with it. Check, check it out, oh, I guess. I don't know. I don't think that's what it is, though. That sounds more like it, though. Wanda being hired by... Was it? Was that it? I don't think that was... No, because she was... She's no, not... she was their caseworker for three years before Montrose came along. Okay. So, either Talos has something to do with it, or it has to do with Montrose's dumb book. Yo! His stupid book! His stupid book was stupid! Just after Dr. Montrose's book was published. Yes, that's when things started getting really crazy for all of us. Aha. We were flooded with new clients. There was no way we could keep up with them. And then one day, Dr. Montrose called us into his office and told us about his new early graduation program. Early graduation program? <laughs> well, that sounds shady Tell as Tell us shit. about Dr. Montrose's early graduation program. He said he determined that a number of our clients no longer needed our services. Oh my. According to state guidelines. Instead no. of... According to his own guidelines. Instead oh. of 18, it was probably graduates. like 10. He mailed each yeah. of them a certificate and a one-time payment of $1,000 oh. in, for... in exchange for them keeping quiet. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh. Your witness. Oh. Oh, snap. We need to talk. No way. Why did they prefer the defense? That, that was a good piece of testimony. Why didn't get any points for that? I don't know. Whatever. They hate us. They always hate us. Let them hate us. We'll still Ready win. Ready to cut a deal? My fate is immaterial, Mr. McCoy. My sole concern is to keep the reform movement from falling apart. Very noble. What are you proposing? Dr. Montrose pleads to negligence and serves a 12-month probation. Uh. He agrees to step aside and allow an acting director to run Good mm. Shepherd for the length of the term. Oh, what an example of self-sacrifice that is. I've got a better <laughs> idea, Dr. Montrose. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'd say gross negligence because it's not like where it's a case where, oh, it's just dirty a little bit. No, we got a, we got a, a clearly... Gross negligence. Yeah. Four years and a $10,000 fine for falsifying documents. You step away from Good Shepherd permanently. Yep. The courts will appoint the next director. Yeah, no, you fucked don't up, buddy. I my life's work to be undone by a bunch of court-appointed hacks. No chance. Well, that's what Looks I'm gonna like go for. fighting this one to the end. See you in court, Shit. McKay. Well, fine. No. Why you... did you take that plea, man? A child's Welcome dead! back to the stand, Dr. Montrose. Perhaps this time we can get to the truth. All right, let's see. Wanda Schuyler has made some remarkable assertions. Would you care to revise any of your previous statements in the light of her testimony? Well, clearly I was mistaken in claiming that Good Shepherd did everything it could to avert this tragedy. The caseworker assigned to the Bowers was negligent. Criminally negligent. That's not her fault, it's Were your you fault because you told her to yeah. do it. Negligence. Did you in fact order her to stop making home visits? Self-serving lies. I'm guilty of trusting... You have no professionalism in your own Nothing damn else. self. I'm a very busy man, Mr. McCoy. I don't get personally involved in every case. No. no. It is not. Because he's pretty much said that he does get personally involved. You lying sack of shit. Halt it. He does get personally involved, yeah. Yeah, you lying yeah. sack of crap. Allow me to read from the transcript. Counsel for the defense, were you personally involved in the case of Aaron Bauer? Defendant, I involve myself oh. personally oh. in every one oh. of my cases. Oh! Well, yes, I said Ooh, that. Ooh, that face where we're bringing so him down a little bit. Around. Let me see the sweat. Yeah, what's Wanda this Skyler all about? mentioned an early graduation program. Dr. Montrose, did you issue payouts to your clients? then drop them from your active client list without ever informing Child Protective what? Services? You can't do that! It's illegal! That's a complete fabrication. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna refute it because fuck you, guy. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, nope. Uh, graduated. Nope. Uh, alumnus. A thousand dollar receipt found the- Yeah, that's right. BOOM! 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 You're going down! Your Honor, I would like to submit People's Exhibit D into evidence. 
a receipt for a one thousand dollar check and some iffy Jenna punctuation Powell errors. The holding company, New Direction. Mm -mm. I, know, I didn't see the immaterial. Period. New Directions is is a completely different and unconnected corporate entity. If they issued a check to Jenna uh, Bauer, that has no on. bearing on Dr. Montrose's culpability. Bullshit. Can you refute? Uh, yeah, we can refute. So let's refute. Yeah, we're gonna refute. Uh, I don't think that's it, cause no, I think it was. Pretty sure that's it, cause they're not owned by the yeah. Archdiocese anymore. Yeah, they're owned by New Direction. Yeah, the material, Your Honor. New Direction. Agreed. Objection overruled. <coughs> so, did you send Mrs. Bauer a one thousand dollar check last April, Doctor Montrose, or is that also a complete fabrication? I may have done so. Ha! You don't remember. I believe Just like I the did. visits. What prompted you? Charity? Of course. The Bowers were very poor. They needed help. They needed mess. Yes, they so... did. But you gave them cash. Yeah, they're like, in our case, because we fucking won. All right. You, yeah. you don't give a whole bunch of cash to a, a meth head. They're going to use it all for drugs. Dr. Montrose has devoted his life to helping those who have been failed arguments. by We're the system. Really slam dunk but it. some, Bullshit. sadly, are beyond help. And sometimes a good agency can be undone by the actions of one dishonest employee. Wrong! If Wanda Schuyler hadn't failed to discharge her duties, Wrong. and then compounded her failure with lies, might Good Shepherd have been able to save Jenna and Aaron Bauer? Yes. No. We'll never know. It's a bitter irony that a champion of reform should fail to spot the corruption among his own staff. He can be faulted He's a champion just because of what he's done, but this is what he did, like right now. Right. Surely this is no Any crime. hero can obviously turn to fraud, especially when the big money starts charges. rolling in from your if dumb he's book. Sent to jail that's dumb. And his reform yeah, movement is when everything by the powers anyway? that be. It will be more than a crime. It will be an outrage. It will be bullshit. <laughs> All right, uh... Fake people of the audience. I don't... Um... <clears throat> uh... Uh... <laughs> Montrose is a destabilizing gadfly? <laughs> no, uh... He, he abandoned his clients. That's really what happened here. He... He saw a problem. He covered it up. He abandoned them and just gave them money to hope the problem would go away. Sure. Dr. Montrose made his name arguing that, that didn't our welfare work at system all. treats his clients like numbers. He proposed to treat them with dignity as individuals. His message resonated with millions. What? And he became famous. But the demands of celebrity caused him to neglect his own principles. How did that work? In the end, his own clients were reduced to numbers. I don't know. Numbers on checks. That did work, but why are we still... Uh, huh. The deaths of Aaron and Jenna Bauer left Dr. Montrose with a terrible decision to make. He could acknowledge his agency's mistake, but this would compromise his moral authority as a public advocate. Or rather his or paycheck. he could cover up the evidence of his neglect and perhaps preserve his reputation at the expense of his integrity. I'm so pushing Dr. The Montrose money, I think chose the, the less too. noble expedient. Because a thousand, because a thousand dollars is way cheaper than paying ten thousand dollars to help this go nowhere kid and his crack addled mom, you know. So uh, don't be aware we're reformers. That's gonna be th that. That sounds a little bit off topic, but it needs to be his agenda blinded him. Because if you call him names, it's not gonna get anywhere. This is a sentiment that resonates with us, and we can be grateful that Dr. Montrose's advocacy has helped push our welfare system to take the claims of parents more seriously. But not every individual case conforms to the ideal. Mm -hmm. In the case of Jenna and Aaron Bauer, the defendant's ideals blinded him to the realities of the case and led him to make a serious error. What causes people to All commit right. crimes of gross yes. negligence? We're in the clear. I've run across many motives in my day. Resentment, greed, indifference, callousness. Dr. Montrose is motivated to make the world a better place. His good intentions, it seems, have blinded him to the evil yeah. he has perpetrated. That's mm -hmm. what makes him a tragic figure and a dangerous one. And that's why it's so the finger. Oh, God, he wagged the finger. Justice be done. 
Have you reached a verdict? Uh, we have, Your Honor. In the case of he gross negligence, we find guilty. the defendant, yes. Stephen Bam! Boom! Charged. In the case of manslaughter... Huh? Another victory for Oh, I guess he got justice. the manslaughter, too. Is it? Good yeah! Good Shepherd will go into receivership. Go, baby. And before Woo! long, it'll Woo! be just another Get child it. welfare agency. Montrose was a fraud, Jack. He got what he deserved. That was way better deserves. than the last case. Oh, yeah. But does his movement deserve to die? How many parents are going to lose their kids? Yeah, I have no problem with his movement. I have a problem with hey, the idiots that think that they can just kick their feet back and think that just because we're talking about solving the problem that we're actually solving the problem. Because we're not. Come on, let's get a drink. Yeah, let's get a drink. I need one. Whoa, what the? Allison, you look great. I feel great. I've even been running again. Where's Detective Curtis? Is she bleeding on the side of her head? I guess she so, got hit with I'm an axe or something. Your recovery is going better than the last time we talked. Last time we talked, I was in a coma. I've been seeing a hypnotherapist, of all things. I don't Anything think she was in a drug case or anything. Memory? I think she's probably <laughs> the case of this whole game is revolving around. <laughs> no. I do remember running with Harrison. The orange overhead lamps and the trees. But that's it. Nothing after. I'm sorry. Don't be. We'll come back like later. This, there's often memory loss. I still miss him, though. Harrison's family's been great. His father's been taking care of all the bills. And, of course, he's pleased as punch about his new grandson. We're calling him Brendan. Good. Brendan. We sort of She's speaking very well for Brandy having a traumatizing a blow to the side of her Not head. Not at all. Uh, so yeah. we weren't married. So we were in high school. Not to say that she Things would be like completely that looks incapable like a tattoo. of speech. Yeah. yeah. Not to say that, that she wouldn't be completely capable of speech, but... Uh, she wouldn't be talking perfectly. thoughts on who would have wanted to kill Harrison? No. Everyone loved him. You really think someone targeted him? Mm. In the papers, they just call it a thrill kill. Yeah. Uh, don't believe everything you read. Well, thanks for everything, Detective. I'm sorry I can't help more. This better Take come into play house. later. Yeah. Well, alright. That was episode four. We did it pretty good, alright. Good job. Alright. 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 So. So. I, I believe we have uh, three more to go. Oh my god. We have three more cases left to go. This isn't like NCIS where we had only four. Nope, we've got seven. Oh my god. That's right. And if they're all gonna be as Kill crazy as this, well, I think we got a lot more crazy, justice filled adventures for you all. Thanks for watching. And see you next time.